Hello friends, uh, Lulu Lou here again. Um, I am here today to show you how to achieve this look. Which is my version of Ursula the Sea Witch. Um, obviously from the Little Mermaid. Obviously I did the Little Mermaid inspired makeup um not that long ago so that is obviously still on my channel so uh, feel free to check that one out as well um yeah no i really like this look it's very bold it's very uh, colorful um but i still think quite wearable for me anyway i i do like my bold makeup um so yeah i hope you enjoy if you'd like to know how to achieve this look please carry on thank you it's um based on ursula the sea witch from little mermaid um, I'll show you my reference picture. That's kind of the one that I'm going for. Um, as you can see, it's like sea green and purple. Um, it's obviously a cut crease look. Just very simple liner and um, I've put lashes on the outside of my eyes. So let's begin. To start with, I've obviously done my eyebrows. I have primed my eyelids with the benefits day don't stray primer um, i've also put nyx jumper pencil in milk down as a base and um, waited for that to dry a little and then I've, what i've done is i've just gone over that with my translucent face powder it just it still helps the colors pop but it means it's not quite as sticky because it can be quite difficult to work with when it's sticky because it can crease. Right, the first step is to go in with your purple eyeliner. And for this you're drawing, you cut crease. And I want it I want it to come up a bit in the middle and down rather than being follow the actual shape, if you know what I mean. So I want it to peak. So that's too high. Start again. I want it to peak about there. And then draw it down. And slightly out. Like so. Obviously this doesn't have to be very neat first go. Because you're going to go in with your colours anyway. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm using my Creative Me palette and I'm going in with that darkest purple there first. And I'm going on with my, this is a Real Techniques brush. It's actually supposed to be a brow brush, but um, I think it's lovely for eyeshadow. Personally, it's too thick for my eyebrows because um, I don't have that much eyebrows. Uh, I'm just going to go in with that deep purple. And just drag it across that line, work it up from there. And you're just building that up. And I'm actually going to leave it at that point for now, for that colour. Um, now I'm going in with my flat synthetic brush. And I'm going to go in with this greeny, bluey, tealy colour here. And I'm just going to press that all over the lower lid. Like so. Right up to that crease colour. Like so. 
and obviously you just keep building it up until you're happy with the colour and to make sure you've got it everywhere. Don't worry about this edge being super straight because we'll clean it up like I did there, I just clean it up with a wipe. I think that'll do for now. Okay, so then what I did, I just got this fluffy brush and I just fluffed this bit here just to kind of give it a softer edge so it wasn't quite so harsh. Again, don't worry if it goes down here because again, we'll clean it up. I've obviously kept the lower lash line completely clean today. So I'll just fluff that out like that. Now, I'm going to go back. Oh, no, I'm not actually. Sorry, got that wrong. Right, where's my brush? I'm going in with this brush and um, a colour from my Coastal Sense 252 palette. And I'm going to go in with that frosty, tealy, greeny colour. Pick a bit up. And I'm literally, I'm just putting that in the centre of the lid. Just to give it a little bit of shimmer. And then go back in with this brush which I used for the other colour. And just blend that. Right, now we're going to go in in a bit more detail with the purple. Just to make sure that line's crisp. Right, now I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques brush, and this is the base shadow brush, um, and I'm going to pick up this colour out of the cremate, cremated me? No, creative me palette. <laughs> and I'm going to put that. on that edge of that purple to blend that purple out. Like that, but as you can see, it's taking too much of the purple. So now I'm gonna to have to go back in with the purple. So I'm going to go in but a little bit more gently this time. Fluff that out. Like that. Now I'm going to go back in with this brush and I'm going to pick up the dark blue from there and just go again along that crease line. Just layering it up and adding a bit of depth. Like so. And again with that fluffy brush, I'm just going to gently buff that out. Not too much. Uh, then I'm going to get my big fluffy brush and uh, again from the tray from my 252 I'm going to go in with this white here as my brow highlight and just run that and blend that down. Pink. So I'm check. OK, 
I need to kind of clear up with that purple. like that and then I'm going to go back in with that white there I'm happy with that now right now just going in with a wet wipe and clean that bit and I'm just gonna take it at an angle like so this is obviously an alternative to the tape method you can use the tape method i used to use the tape method in early videos um i don't now um but i used to so obviously if you feel comfortable doing the tape method go ahead and do the tape method um how you do it is completely up to you obviously right then so that's that so now what I'm going to do is I am going in with my liner and that's my Barry M waterproof gel eyeliner and that's in black and I am going in with this little tiny brush it's actually a nail art brush uh, but they're brilliant for eyeliner I find so then you just i'm actually going to need a mirror for this i think and obviously you're trying to match that up and what i do is i use the edge of the makeup as a guide bit more filling in I think done on the eyeliner right uh, I've put lashes on half lashes on um, this eye so uh, what I'm gonna do is I am just going to put the glue on now before I put my mascara on give it a few seconds to set this um, it's it's one of a pair of lashes that I've just cut in half um, I find that way they're a bit easier to wear um, for everyday wear, um, much more comfortable for me personally. If you can wear full lashes, if you want to wear the full lashes, obviously that's um, it's up to you. Um, but I personally find wearing these half lashes much easier. bottom lashes I 
So hopefully those lashes should be about ready. Probably needed a bit longer to be honest. Uh, what I will do, I have noticed that this purple doesn't come down as much on this side. So I'm just going to add a little bit to bring it down level. and just press them on. And I just then go in with tweezers and just make sure I push my natural lashes into them so they're blended. And that just lifts up the corner of your eyes. I think it looks beautiful. Right, now for, I'm not putting foundation on, um, cream foundation on because it's boiling hot and it's just going to look really disgusting um, because I'll sweat everywhere. So what I'm actually going to do, I am just going to put some of my Colour Trend Translucent Face Powder on. then I'm just gonna I can't remember obviously she has no contour um on so I'm not actually gonna put I've put a little bit on I've put a little bit of darker concealer just along here because I do like to have a little bit of definition for my cheekbones but that's it that's all I've done so now on to the lips I am going to firstly line with this lip liner in claret and it's by number 17 from boots and then I'm going to go over the top with my Color Trend lipstick in Rich Ruby, which looks like so. Beautiful red. I'll swatch. You see? Beautiful. Um, I think the stuff from Avon, uh, especially the Color Trend stuff, is um, really good value for money. Um, so if you can, I would definitely check it out. I'm not lining my full lips, I'm just going to Managed to miss my entire lip. That's right, it's amazing. Right now, I'm just gonna don't want it all the way out, obviously. And there you go. Finish look.